That's we're going to be reading is very bizarre story from the Quran, making sure that uh, not from the Quran, from the Hadith, uh, Volume One, Volume Three, Book Twenty Nine, Number Seventy Two. Muhammad was somewhere, and he ordered people to be finished, meaning their life ended. Guys, it's very complicated for some Muslims to understand what I'm trying to say because I'm coming from the background of Christianity, speaking about love, making sure that. Anybody who commits a sin, they have to forgive the person. And anybody who commits a sin and is willing to repent, he has to be forgiven. According to what we have been taught in the Bible. But here, we are clearly seeing somebody doing exact opposite. Yes, guys. In the Bible, we are going to find a story of Jesus Christ standing somewhere. And then the whole village went and captured one woman which was caught in the act of adultery. She was caught sinning. According to their traditions, according to the Jewish traditions, what had to happen to the woman was that everybody was supposed to pick a stone and shoot on her until, until, you know, the end, until she's finished. So, what happens here is that this person was taking refuge and hiding inside the Kaaba. The Allah's Apostle entered Mecca in the year of this and he was having the Arabian helmet, wearing an Arabian helmet on his head. He's a warlord. Moving from place to place and then coming. And then so finally, they say, um, um, uh, the person came and said, is is inside the Kaaba and is taking refuge inside the Kaaba. What did the prophet give us? Advice, contrary to the Bible, if this was Jesus Christ seated somewhere and then people came and showed him some video and saying that we have to kill the person. You know what Jesus will say? Jesus will simply say, uh, ask the person if he wants to repent. The person will even first of all be mastered by saying that he's repenting. He doesn't want to do that anymore. He wants to get away from it. And then Jesus will just say, go and no more see, no, no more, do, never do it again. Never do it again. But what did the prophet do? Somebody is hiding in the holy place of the all the Muslims, seeking refuge inside the Kaaba. Somebody is seeking refuge. You don't understand what it means. Seeking refuge inside the Kaaba. And then the prophet himself is asking the prophet uh, asked the person to be bought and then the prophet said no the person asked the person to be killed and then they went and finally they obeyed because Muhammad is what according to Islam Muhammad is simply the pattern of conduct according to Islam Muhammad is simply the pattern of conduct and then the best guidance is from Muhammad and um, and uh, you guys already know I have been showing this verse multiple multiple times that uh, anyone who annoys the prophet, we there's a curse on him in this world and in the hereafter, and then uh, he's going to go to hell just because he annoyed the prophet. So it's obvious that these people, and then finally this person that we are supposed to not annoy, he's actually a big time sinner. And then you have to keep in mind that obedience to this big time sinner is equal. Number six is equal to obedience to Allah, chapter four, verse eighty, and then chapter three, verse thirty-two, and then Muhammad is a big time, big time sinner, forty-eight. Chapter 48, verse 1 to 2, and chapter 40, verse 55. Guys, it's very important that you know who you're following. You're following the wrong prophet. You're following the wrong person. You're following the false prophet. And this false prophet is leading you straight to hellfire. It's very important. So, guys, repent of your sins. Get away from Islam. There is somebody who is very, very happy to ask people to go and be killed. And we just read in the last video, if you do not see the last video, I want you to take as advantage, read this short story for your own. Put a pause and read the story. This is a story where somebody went and steal something. He After he converted and, and reverted from Islam, he stole a camel and killed the camel owner. And then Muhammad asked the person to cut off their hands, cut off their legs, and then put hot, hot metals inside their eyes. In the eyes so that your eyes should be branded with hot metals hot iron guys volume 8 book that book 82 number 794 of Sayyid al-bukhari say so finally my conclusion is if you're a muslim and you say you don't believe in these things if you're a muslim and you say you don't believe in these things it's not my problem it is written there people have been doing it you think that when the more when muhammad was asking the people here that go and catch him and kill him you think they they do not go and catch him because they already knew that if they dare try to annoy him, they themselves will kill them. So they went and did it. So these are orders directly coming from you people's God. And your God is the one telling Muhammad what to do. According to what Islam is saying. And so this is what your God is asking you guys to do. And the eternity is waiting for you guys. Repent and give your life to Christ. Repent and give your life to Christ. Repent and give your life to Christ. 
How do you repent? You simply ask for forgiveness of your sins. Message me if you have a question. God bless you.